Hey boys, welcome back to some more Gold Coast Times 2020 career, and uh, yeah, we're coming off a, uh, a a decent win last up, so we're going to be taking on the Knights in round nine of the regular season here. You know, it's been it's been a good year for the Times so far. We're <laughs> we're on the cusp of uh, of a top eight spot, and but you know, with the, with the typical Gold Coast fashion, we've had our We've had our down runs for sure. We've looked, uh, we've looked pretty ordinary at times. So hopefully we can, we can find a bit of consistency here. The Knights are not going to be an easy, an easy beat. That's for, that's for sure. I mean, let's be real. None of the teams are going to be easy playing as the, playing as the Gold Coast. But it's probably a, this is probably a, a decent matchup for us. Although in in real life, the the Knights have been uh, very very good starting the year. So anything can happen. But a huge shot on Galen Ponga back on the inside. Nathan Peets is going to scoop up the loose ball, and he is going to score the first try under the sticks. We hadn't even touched the footy yet. That was our first touch. And we just read the inside play beautifully. I don't know who put the shot on, but it was a great hit on poor old Kalen Ponga. Absolutely set up for failure there. And Nathan Peets just uh, just uh, sniffing around the ruck, able to to scoop it up and and get a get a great opening try. That's uh, that's as good a start as you'll you'll ever see in a game, basically. <laughs> unless you try, unless you score a try off the kickoff, that's as good as it's gonna get. So. Great, uh, great play regardless. So fifth tackle now. Our first proper set of the game is a is a decent one. As a, a high kick there by Tyrone Roberts, and it's going to be taken by Kalen Ponga this time, trying to <laughs> trying to get through to put another shot on him, but he's able to avoid the contact that time and and skip away. But a forward pass from our own danger zone. It was a risky little blindside play. The Knights read it very nicely, and I was worried about going into touch. That's why I I, I threw the ball back in a little bit of panic and uh, not uh, not what we needed at all. And that's that's been a little bit of a a little bit of a bad habit so far. We've looked very good, and then we'll come up with a silly offload, a silly forward pass. You know, I, I, I have been as uh, we get very lucky there. A little ricochet and Fodawaka is gonna. Get uh get control of it, but you know I, I have been trying to play a bit more expansive with the times. I feel like defense. If, if we can get our defense in order, then it's going to be great. But we're a side that you know we're not going to restrict teams every time to no points. And if we're going to beat teams, we got to put on some. We got to put on some points. We got to score some tries. So trying to trying to be more aggressive in our style of of attacking play. It has come undone a few times, but. It's sort of the sort of been the motto. It was a great kick there, and uh, that's that's been another that's been another good element. I think Tyron Roberts and Ash Taylor have been been pretty pretty adept with uh, the kicking game. I think it's put us in a in a good spot. But a great offload there, Mitch Barnett now through the cap <laughs> takes on Brimson, and gets around him. But thankfully Brian Kelly able to to come and clean up the scraps there. Is he going to spread out to the right here? A nice ball onto Jacob Saifidi. Another offload. They're starting to <laughs> they're starting to put a few few of the big boys getting through the line here, which is not what we uh we'd like to see before the halftime break. It's going to be fifth and last now. Got to defend this set. Of six we do not want to go in with the momentum against us but a kick someone pick it up for god's sake <laughs> oh it was just it was hanging around there no one wanted to grab it but thankfully we uh survived it's another huge hit there who was that was it ryan james potentially or maybe fodawake put on the shot it was uh a fantastic hit as uh, Tyron Roberts scoots through. I tried to put in the kick for the corner for a wing to chase, but didn't quite get the get the kick away. But a nice little inside play. AJ Brimson taking them on. Probably the last play of the first half here. It would be great if we could score. Going to look to go to right here for the field goal attempt. Ash Taylor just sprays it out to the right. Not a bad option, honestly. I, uh, I was going to go to the left, but... I saw Taylor. He was he was unmarked on the right there. Decent position for the field goal and just shanked it a little bit. So not a bad option. And we're going to go into the sheds with a six nil lead, which I think is pretty pretty fitting. We did have the stats seem to be pretty heavily in our favour, but I don't know. I think it's been pretty uh, pretty pretty fair, honestly. Is Ash Taylor beautiful? It was a great little offload from the winger, and uh, Ash Taylor able to scoot through. 
trying to get the pass away there, but getting it wrapped up disappointingly. But fourth place, still plenty of time to, to mount the attack here. Trying to put in the little kick for the inside mare, but Kalen Ponga scoops on it. Tyron Peachy misses the ankle tap on Kalen Ponga, and we are not going to uh, catch the flyer. He, uh, you know, it's been it's been the the Kalen Ponga game so far. He was the one that coughed up the ball to 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 succumb to our first try of the game, and now he's going to go the length of the field off a little kick and hit back, get the two points, and where uh, it's game on once again. Unfortunately, just uh, a bit unlucky with that little kick through ricocheting and then Ponga scooping it up. But a scrum feed here, beautiful ball, Dale Copley onto Philip Sammy, and he is going to score in the corner. They are going upstairs just to check the touch line, but I think it's all good. And it is beautiful put down. I could have scored with uh, with Dale Copley. He did get on the outside, but just unselfishly gave it on to the flying Sammy and uh, made made a, a meal of it. So Taylor with a with a tough conversion absolutely shanks it off the right boot. <laughs> that's that's a disappointing miss because uh, it could come back to bite us for sure with the four point. Uh, lead now, but uh, a nice pass there, Tyrone Pidgey almost sneaking through, fifth and last now, 53 minutes gone, still plenty of time for both teams to, to get up in this match, it's going to be a high kick here from Tyrone Roberts, it's a good kick, but it's just a touch too deep, no, no one was able to get through and put the pressure on Ponga, able to take that one, get the seven tackle set as well, as uh, now, who was that? Crossland putting the, the kick across field. Philip Sammy getting through of a couple of would-be tacklers. And Philip Sammy just is going to burn them. No one's going to catch him. I think he was at Connor Watson maybe. Almost uh, almost rounds him up. But Philip Sammy does what Kalen Ponga did to us and runs length of the field. Just gets away from uh, from a couple of would-be tacklers. And great uh, great try. Actually, I think it's uh, Mitchell Pierce given uh, given chase. He's a, he's he's quite a quick half in his in his day for sure. Mitchell Pierce not uh, not going to catch Philip Sammy at that pace. He is one of the absolute speedsters of the game, and uh, that that should be. Don't want to say it should be the ball game, but uh, you know we'd have to come up with some pretty bad errors to lose it from here. Is a, a good kick, early kick from uh, Tyron Roberts kicks it into the end goal. That is a great kick. Kalen Ponga takes it from the end goal, steps around one. Always a danger, but it's a great kick, a great kick chase. That is that's what we need with a with a ten point lead. Just kick it deep. Rely on your defense and uh, should be good to go. As a nice little inside play, AJ Brimson. He's looked dangerous all game. Him and Ponga have had a nice little battle. Probably, I'd probably say Brimson's had the had the wood over him so far. Uh, although Ponga did get that length of the field try, but it's been Brimson. He's made a lot of good ground up the up through the middle. It's been a it's been a good game from both uh, from both fullbacks. As uh, Philip Sammy puts the kick across field, it's a sensational kick, and AJ Brimson is going to swoop on it. We were just talking about the young fella, and uh, that should seal his uh, his tremendous performance right there. That was a great kick, Philip Sammy. He's uh, he's he's pretty adept with the with the kicking duties. I remember that uh, that freakish try the Titans scored against the Broncos with Philip Sammy putting a kick on the end of uh, of a ridiculous last tackle and uh, then scoring in the corner. But that was uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was a great that was a great try to finish with, dude. And that is going to be the last play of the game. So a 22 point to six victory. It looked dangerous at times, but uh, we we're able to get uh, get the chocolates over the Knights there. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment and I'll see you in the next one.